Hey everybody, it's Mike, Rocky Ridge. Just letting out the young birds. <clears throat> it's kind of it's kind of hot this afternoon, so we'll see how they see if they want to fly around or what's the story. It's about 4:30, so it's about the har the hottest part of the day. Couldn't let them out earlier, so I'm sure they'll appreciate getting out no matter what the temperature it is. Pretty much everybody comes right out at this point, even the ones with the clipped wings and um, all the young ones. The young ones fly around with the flock a little bit, but they don't, uh, they usually go to there and then they take off from there for some reason, but I don't think I'm gonna flag them at all this year. Um, last year I, I lost birds just from flagging them and uh, there was no need of that. I could have I could have just got them flying by taking them on tosses, so. I'm not gonna uh, scare my birds off. Just just let them do what they want to do. Let's see how frisky they are. They, they they won't be long before they all take off. You get a couple of adventurous ones that start making a circle, and then everybody seems to follow from there. Here we go. I had a huge pine tree right over there that I cut down recently. And uh, there's the white one. Just starting to get its, get its wings. Yeah, that pine tree was right in their way. Every time they made the circle, they'd, some of them would run into it. So just thought they'd make it a little bit more comfortable for the young ones to do circles. Yeah, that white one's right in with the flock today. Yesterday it wasn't. It wasn't keeping up yesterday. See, it's right there on the edge. And there's some kind of a... Oh, that's a Georgia kite, we call that. They don't hunt pigeons, but uh, there's a breeding pair of them over there. I'm sure that the, the pigeons are a little bit frightened by that. They eat small mammals. Not usually birds. Yeah, there's your there's your strong flyers, and then there's your your uh, young ones. So they have a way of taking care of themselves. I got quite a backlash uh, last on my last video, where I said I mixed the uh, young ones with the older ones, and um, I think I know what the problem is. People. Um, People like to hold their birds, and um, they don't do that. This, the moment they're able to fly, well, even before then, they can, uh, you know, they're allowed to come out. So when you do that, um, you don't you don't lose young birds from uh, from mixing them with the older ones. It's when they're strong, and then all of a sudden you let them out, and they try to keep up with the, uh, the more experienced birds. And that becomes a problem. I wish these kites would move on. They're birds of prey, so they're opportunistic. But a lot of, a lot of them are just trapping. They're saying, oh, I'm gonna get away from that. But even though it's hot, those birds are gonna keep flying and flying until until there's no uh, predators around. If they stay up for 10 or 12 minutes, they get their second wind, and then they, they don't breathe like that anymore, then they can fly for an hour. That's why hawks are not necessarily a bad thing when you're training young birds. Um, there's nothing that's really gonna give them that strength like, like the fear of a hawk. Um, I should say, give them exercise. I had a bad hawk problem on my first year racing, and I tell you what, I entered those races with some strong birds, and did very well that year. Yeah, there's a hawk right there. Well, this might be one of those bad, bad years. I don't know. 
I'll stand over there in the opening so the, the hawks can uh, see me. Humans are a pretty good deterrent. Hawks are very shy, unless they're starving. The starving young ones, they don't really care. But that's where the pine tree was right there, right in front of that pressure washer. It was right there. And I came, came right straight up. So it was right in the middle of the yard. And uh, it's now, it's turned into lumber. Everything's going really, really good with them. Just let them do their thing and let them grow up. And uh, the end of July, I'll start road training them and getting them ready for young bird races. So I have this uh, interesting looking young bird, just came out of the nest. It's like a dark check on this side and then, I don't know what you call it on that side, but um, it's the, the father is a pure muleman and the mother is a mix of things. I'll show the parents. Should be a pretty decent racing pigeon, but um, I just uh, thought, thought it was kind of interesting how it turned out. This nest mate is a light color. I'll show the nest mate. And this is the nest mate right here. It's an attractive bird also. I guess you'd call that a red grizzle. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go take a look at the parents. So these are the parents of those two. It's a tiger grizzle and the mealman talk. So, I just thought the babies were so interesting that I'd let them do another round, see what comes out. A lot of them were out there catching their breath. Just came down from a flight. Oh, they're slowly coming in.
right, thanks for watching everyone. Give a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next video. Please subscribe.